Hey guys, what's up? Matt here. And today's little video for you is all about why I decided to buy an operations systems process management company to go alongside with a little sales company we got going on. So uh, with that said, cue the intro. All right, guys, what's up? And uh, thank you so much. It's been a while since I've uploaded one of these videos specifically, but I wanted to talk to you about today is, you know, this is sort of targeted towards business owners, but also sales reps, because I want to have you have an understanding of how, I guess, uh, the business of sales works and why it's important that you have an understanding of the operational capabilities of a business. So over the last two years, I've managed to scale our business by roughly 7,000%, give or take. Um, and the way they've been able to do that is by like an aggressive level of infrastructure, operations, uh, always being kind of one step ahead of the game in terms of over infrastructure in the business and then making sure that our delivery mechanisms, our finance mechanisms, and all the stuff that keep a business flowing in the back end. I'm sure if you're a sales guy, you've been in a position where you're selling something, all of a sudden the delivery wheels just fall off. You start getting complaints, start getting all that kind of stuff. And that is a symptom of the sales overtaking the operational capability of the business. And so what I found in Sales Sniper, like we're a done for you sales agency, right? So what we do is we come in, we replace the sales team or we, or we act as a sales team. We also act as the sales managers, the liaison, like sort of the front end pointy bit of the sword for the marketing and the operations and delivery and finance sides of the business. And we provide lots of feedback and we put in all of our own management structures and systems to make sure that there's as much data as possible for that business to be able to make the best decisions possible to grow because I want the business to grow because then they put more money into leads, put more into advertising, and we can make more sales. Now, what was consistently happening was that our sales was breaking the delivery mechanisms of the business, right? And what do I mean by that? I mean, exactly what I said before, which is like, we started getting complaints. And then what happens is the COO and the business or the CFO tells me, hey guys, we gotta slow this down. We need to turn down ad spend for two months while we fix delivery. And so like for us, that's a huge deal because like we're commissionally sales company. So now what we have to do is we have to turn down the amount of people we have in the account or we have to pause it. We have to do something which loses momentum. So what we decided to do is we decided to be proactive about it and we bought an operations company. So um, fantastic guy called Spencer Burnett and we've essentially bought out the company and all that kind of stuff. And now we're working with them to develop what is going to be called Sniper Operations, which is a business that is designed to fix delivery mechanisms within businesses to make sure that all businesses are streamlined in their finance department, their intercommunications and their delivery and all and, and, and a bunch of other metrics which I won't bore you with on this video. But the reason why we've done that is because we need to put ourselves in a position where we can like break a business and then quickly fix it, right? Um, otherwise, we're putting our sales guys in a position where like we're not doing everything we can do to make sure that they're in positions to win. And at the end of the day, Sales Sniper is all about putting our sales reps in a position where they can hit their personal and their financial goals. And how we do that is through providing them a tremendous amount of support, whether it be career development, whether it be man management, management training, sales training, all the kind of stuff that we provide here, uh, but also through uh, giving assistance to the clients that we work with because we have a unique position of being able to be in the back end of you know, 20 or 30 really, really high level uh, businesses of all different sort of walks of life. So we um, have the benefit of hindsight, I suppose. So now we can see what works. Also having grown an agency myself, um, from zero to eight figures in, in about in about 15, 16 months. I've got that experience and also having our own coaching program at seventh level, which you can go to salesrevolution.group if you wanna check that out. Um, we, we now have, we, we've grown that to an eight figure business as well. So over the past 12 to 24 months, we've been in a position where we've seen rapid growth of a lot of different companies. And we've been in a privileged position to be able to see what's broken them and what's fixed them. And so we have a unique position and I think therefore a responsibility to, to try and right the wrongs that are happening within, within the businesses that we work with. And so we've done this on multiple occasions now. Um, and that is the reason to the core of it, why we decided to sort of purchase, absorb, you know, the sort of vernacular doesn't really matter, uh, but why we decided to add a capability to Sales Sniper 
which is the fixing of the operations, communications, financial structures of a business so that we can provide a better service to our clients and to us. Um, and also, also that drives revenue for us and it drives deeper and deeper relationships. So like if you're out there and you're a sales guy and you're, you know, complaining and you're, and you're in a position where, you know, you've oversold products and services and stuff like that, just, you know, there's a reason for that. So the more you can have the reason, the more you can understand why these things happen, the better you can sort of communicate and make sure that you're not overselling. I remember it's a funny story. I sold 15 people in one week into a 30K pro co uh, coaching program. The previous record was like five. Um, and, I sold, and I sold 15. And that backed up their, um, it backed up their onboarding for 10 weeks. And so now, had I just kind of rested there, I would have lost a lot of those clients, but I ended up onboarding a lot of them myself. But... You know, it's a real thing that happens when you have decent salespeople as you kind of break the delivery. So um, if you're sitting there and if you are a business owner and you have, you're sort of on that precipice at the moment, feel free to, to reach out to us. But if not, just make sure that you, you look at those mechanisms. Like you can't run a, a, a seven and eight figure business off a Google sheet. You can't do it. Uh, so don't try. <laughs> I, I implore you. I see plenty of people doing it and doing it very poorly. Um, but that's not a business. Like essentially you have a liability, not an asset. So the way that I like to set my businesses up is if I could IPO or if I could be sold, right? So there's auditing systems in place. It has to make sense to other people. You have to be able to bring people in to be able to run it for you. I took all of December off and it, revenue went up, right? So like that is a reflection, not of my fantastic ability as a business operator. It's a, it's a, it's a reflection of systems and process. And so that at the core of it is why we decided to start slash relaunch sniper operations it's not live yet but it is um i like letting people know my thought process so if you guys like this kind of content make sure you like subscribe hit the notification bell comment something down below okay to let me know that you like it and uh, i look forward to doing more videos and i'll see you guys in the video okay bye